spring. Welcome to Maritime Gardening. Very gotten here. And uh, I was out in my garden today just having a look around and I thought I'd bring you along with me to see uh, what's growing. It's uh, overcast and we've had lots of snow storms and lousy weather and lots of wind. And uh, today's not a very warm day, it's probably zero. I don't imagine it's too hot in these hoop houses because there's no sun. But uh, anyway, I planted, uh, direct seeded a number of different things in uh, from early to mid-March. And now we're uh, moving into late March. So I just wanted to open up some gardens and uh, have a look around and see if anything's growing. So uh, come along and have a look. All right, so if you were watching, this is a garden I built just with some, uh, this uh, cold frame I built with just some old uh, windows. Uh, found them on the side of the road in town and just slapped this thing together. You can watch a video on how I made that. Took no time at all. Uh, so uh, I planted some spinach here. Let's have a look, if, see if it's growing. All right, so have a look in here. Sorry for all this wind, it's a windy place. So I planted it in rows and I didn't mark the rows, of course. I don't know why people mark rows. I mean, either it's gonna grow or it's not. Once it grows, you'll know where the row is. So taking a look here, I can see right there is spinach. I probably planted that two weeks ago. And even though it's overcast today, I'm touching the soil, and the soil certainly feels warmer than the air. I mean, the, it's quite cold uh, today. Um, there's some... Uh, where's my finger? Right there. There's some more spinach right there. Right, if you know what spinach looks like when it, when it germinates, that's what spinach looks like. Right, a little further up. There's some more. Uh, there's some right there. Right? I must have had a row, I'm sure I had a row along here, because you can see there's uh, one here, and then you go a little further up, there's one right there, right, and so on. So, I mean, there's a there's a weed there. <laughs> I can't remember what that is, some, some kind of weed. Pull that. I don't want that growing. Now, weeds always come in stronger. There's some more spinach over here. Right there. All right, so it's growing. It's March. Stuff's growing. Not, uh, you know, we're not, uh, not calling the Guinness World, World Book of Records here, but I mean, we got growth. Stuff's happening. Uh, most people can't plant. I planted this a couple weeks ago, and it's growing. If we had more sun, it'd be further along. But generally speaking, I can see one or two poking up. Remember, I, I plant everything about a hand span apart. So by my thumb here, there's some growing. And I go over a hand span, or my pinky is, and look. And I can see along that line. Uh, camera's not agreeing with me here. I can see along that line, there's some growing right, right there. Right? So, and there's a couple more that are trying to poke up, and of course there's the odd weed as well. So anyway, the spinach, spinach is growing. That's good, that's a good start. Whoa, it's windy. Holy moly, it's windy today. I didn't even have my tripod, I just have the camera on a stick. Uh, anyway, let's close this up. You don't wanna leave these open for long because you don't wanna let your heat out. You know, some of the heat today is coming from what bit of light is up in the sky. Now imagine some of the heat just coming from the actual soil. And also, I mean, one of the main reasons I have the uh, seaweed down here, I put seaweed on top of the soil, is because it's dark. And I thought that would attract heat. And I think it is. It is cold today. Alright, so there's another 
another box over there but i haven't planted anything in that it was it was frozen solid when i put that box down last week so uh nothing's going on there yet maybe i'll check it tomorrow uh i thought i'd look underneath one of these domes i don't know how much is growing underneath these but this is the first i believe this dome here is the first place they planted anything it was the first to thaw and if you followed that video where i was walking around seeing what was frozen and what wasn't in early March. Um, this is the one where I had worms. You know, basically, not here, but inside where the dome is, um, wherever the, the mulch was in contact with the soil, right, there's the soil there. I mean, this soil is frozen solid, <laughs> but under the dome, wherever the mulch was in contact with the soil, I saw worms, or the odd worm, working away. That's another advantage of A, having a good mulch, and B, using these domes, is that the worms get to work a lot sooner. And what are those worms doing? They're making worm poop. And that is the best fertilizer you can put in your garden. So all I, had to, I didn't have to buy that or do anything. I just put down a mulch and let the worms go to work. That's how permaculture is supposed to work. It's one of the ideas, right? You're working with nature. Making them happy, they're making you happy. Anyways, so let's pop the lid off here and see what's going on under the hood. Let's see what's going on underneath these guys. I hope that doesn't come down and hit me in the head. Now in this garden, I think we've got, I see some evidence of success. So you look right where my forefinger is. Oh, geez, that just hit me in the head. Oh, God. <laughs> I had to tie that on. Anyway, there's kale right there. And then, move down a little bit. There's kale right there. And the only reason I'm going into the detail is people that live in colder, colder places and they don't believe that it'll work. It works, it's just not, you know, phenomenal. You need more sun, right? The more, if you, how cold it is, doesn't matter as much as how sunny it is. If I lived in a colder place with more sun, there'd be even more going on here because these plants don't mind being frozen a bit, but they need a certain amount of heat to germinate, right? There's more kale there, right? And there's some more kale over there. This is my own kale, my own, you know, seeds I've saved. I'll thin them later, but anyway, that's working, All right? Come over here a bit. I'm gonna keep that from bit me in the head. Oh. <laughs> it wants to <laughs> hang on a second. I got to get something to prop this up. This thing's trying to kill me. All right, so there's more kale there, and uh, look over here. I believe that's um, right there. That's spinach or, or corn mosh. I can't remember what I planted here. There's another one there where my finger is. All right. These holes are a bit, a bit deep. There's one that found its, found its way up through. All right. There's some more over there. All right. So I mean, there's stuff going on here. Uh, I think over here I planted lettuce. I think I think that's lettuce. I don't remember. You don't really. You know, once the plant gets a bit bigger, you can tell. Actually, this looks like it needs to be watered a bit. Anyway, so things are looking up. Let's check the next one. All right, so here we are in the adjacent box. And what have we got growing here? I can tell there's a hole right here. And there's another hole over there. And another hole over there. I got a mole hanging out in here. I don't know if he's eating the plants. I doubt it, but you never know. I definitely do have a mole in here. But, uh, and I can just tell by the texture of the soil that it's been heaving. So it's been freezing and thawing overnight. And we've had some nights this week that were minus 10 at night. So it hasn't been ideal for germination. There's some sun coming out right now. We've got a few minutes of sun. But I can see in the edges here of the garden, there's some kale. I think I planted the, uh, I can't remember what that variety was. It's it's like a like a lacinato kale. So I see some, some coming up, various spots. All right, there's some over there. All right, there's some more over there. So I mean, it's it started here. 
And I planted those, I don't know, two weeks ago or something like that. So, I mean, that's coming along, right? We get a little bit of sunlight, um, things will start looking up here. Anyway, that's all right. Let's check out the next one. Oh. Need that broom or I'm gonna get it in the head. Oh. There we go. So it's the garden with uh, onions planted in it. I can see the onion right there. Right, I can see another onion right there. So, I mean, there's some life in here. They grow very slowly, like there's an onion right there. And they grow very slowly. I mean, I've noticed signs of life in here fairly early on in the year, but uh, everything's growing very slowly. We just don't have a lot of heat, right? We get a, a stretch of uh, sunny days and this, as I said, the sun's more important than the heat. Uh, the heat's important, but sunny days are what I need. And we just haven't been getting a lot of sun. Right over here, we got some different things. I'm pretty sure that's a blade of grass. Um, but that's an onion over there. The onion is uh, tube-shaped, whereas the grass is blade-shaped, right? But on the good side, because I got this paper here, there's no grass growing right there. Given that there's the odd blade of grass growing in between the pieces of paper, right? That tells me that if this paper wasn't here, there'd be grass growing everywhere. So that's wonderful that that system is working. So, uh, yeah. I'll just just let the sun work on this and, and see how it goes. Another, another few weeks and we'll check it again. Anyway, we got some signs of life and uh, something's happening here, although it uh, doesn't look very lifelike otherwise. It looks very bleak and uh, a lot of clouds, but uh, you know, that, that'll change at some point and we'll be back in business. So uh, I just thought I'd give you a look around and give you a sense of what's going on here and you know, what, uh, what, what, what you can make happen uh, despite uh, less than ideal conditions, uh, just using a little bit of plastic and a little bit of wood. So uh, I hope you found that um, interesting, gave you some ideas, and uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, like us, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff, check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com, and until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden, thanks for watching.